Oh, all right. Let's do this again. Let's do this again. The Undead Parish. This one might be one of our last really complicated areas that I remember. That's the thing. There's definitely some places like Duke's Archives that are really complicated, but my ability to draw them in detail is going to be uh, compromised. So <laughs> the later we get to the game, maybe even partly because of my own tiredness, but also I think partly just because of my own memory, uh, it'll be a little harder to totally nail it with some of these later on. So the, the, the sketches will potentially get quicker and faster and simpler and whatnot. So now we're doing another zone that does not have a boss fight, if I remember correctly. So that's one thing going on with it. Going on with it. Um, was there a bonfire? No, because that was one of the big things people would bring up is that when you get surprised killed by the Hellkite Drake, uh, that you like get sent all the way back to way long ago. And also you have all of the boss souls on you still, so you could lose all of those boss souls. Uh, and that'd be bad. Yeah, that was like part of the whole thing, is you can lose all of your Tauros Demon boss souls because you get killed by the fire as a surprise. All right. I'm trying to think of how to best organize this because there's a few different dominant shapes. One of which is just the big. Let's start with the, this is the cathedral area. Big risky rectangle. Okay. And that's kind of divided into three areas. That's not enough space because I need to divide that one into two areas again. Let's divide this part. There we go. So that'll be the staircase. Here's the big chunky portcullis. That'll be the front door to the cathedral. That'll be the doorway to the back of the cathedral. Oh yeah, there is a boss in the Undead Parish. The gargoyles. It's just on a different floor entirely that I'll have to figure out how to draw. Okay. Fuck. Man. This one's pretty nuts. This one is pretty nuts. Huh. Hmm. Give us a little spiral staircase going into darkness. Probably not facing the right direction. But uh, there's a few different things going on here that I need to figure out how to denote. Shit. Because, like, over here is the area that leads to Sen's Fortress and Darkroot Basin. But then under here is the area that leads to where we just came from, the Tauros Demon. So there's going to be, like, some kind of bridge that curves, the, 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 like, a staircase curving this way. Some kind of church building over here. But up here is the elevator to Firelink Shrine, but also an upper floor. I must, ha I might have to finally break and use a separate page for this one. We'll see. Anyway, what I was just drawing was I was, I was just drawing where the um, the Black Knight is. 
That's uh, black knights are the ones that have horns, apparently. Black knight tower. That's what I'll call that. And here, a little tail. That doesn't, that doesn't make a lot of sense. That's the big boar right there. Okay. It's interesting having to not only just recite things you know exist, but also try to come up with like a plan for how you're gonna show these things, which is surprisingly hard. So I'm gonna make a church building like here. Another church building. Man. Okay, so this one's going to have a door right there. What's wrong with me? I keep reflexively making doors wrong. I'm not really drawing windows, so you know what that means whenever I, that whenever I fuck that up. It's like there's a connective tissue between all of these. It connects to this tower, but also connects to this area here. Hmm. This is the bonfire for the zone. Try to draw like the actual fire area, but then like the flame, but then the sword. It's a lot. So it's my, my attempt to do the coiled sword and other things that are going on there. Okay. Because here's where things get interesting. I'm gonna have to make do with the amount of space I have here, so... That's the doorway to that area. And there's a doorway here. Out into... That shit. This should be facing this direction, but it's not the paper space we have, so I'm not gonna do that. So instead we're gonna make do... With a profile shot. Like there's a wall that you go through to get here. Definitely running out of space here. But there's like an open area here that has like a couple of staircases. I believe this right here should be the tower, the Tauros demon. So like the Tauros demon was here. What a fucking experiment this whole thing is. Uh, it's gonna take a while too. I'm definitely wondering if this is even doable in one session anymore. Here is Solaire, gazing out at his glorious sun. He's the smiley boy with the flame icon around him. And he also shows up here. This is apparently how I'm going to draw Solaire. It doesn't make much sense. I want to draw his knight's helm that's like a bucket with like a slit on it and everything, and I just like forgot midway through. <laughs> or specifically, I gave him vertical eyes instead of like a, an eye slit, and then I'm like, oh shit, that's already fucked. And there's like a couple of like really passive enemy just kind of hanging out here. Because it's the altar of sunlight.
An important location. Ah, uh, beautiful. I didn't really draw it. Kind of didn't have space to draw it. I guess I could have added it, added it to the end there. Let's take us a drink. I spit while I talk. Great. So right here is a staircase to a lower layer. Which is going to be hard to draw. It's a lower layer that itself has This is the ladder we saw before, which goes to Undead Berg in the bonfire. So noticing that ladder is pretty much mandatory if you want to have a proper bonfire. Otherwise you won't have one until you get past the Hellkite Dragon, which I guess also works. But then I think... No, it's not another layer, is it? shifting perspectives here again, which makes things really messy. But there's a wall here with a door. This is a little nuts trying to figure out how to denote this. Okay, so it's somewhere over here that connects over here. So we can go through here, I can go under for the sake of making it a little easier to look at. But like basically there's a series of enemies in this little like under area under the aqueduct. And then over here there's the poison rats. Let's do a little triangle head, body, tail, little tippy feet. That's your first indication of poison! So you have this entire area. Oof. Swoosh. Oh no. And then I'll throw in some orange there. This is me trying to do fire. This is what fire looks like. And a little yellow. Woo. This is a fucking child's idea of what drawing fire is like. There you go. Because this is the fire dragon. Because this guy just comes cruising in like an asshole. I drew those wings incorrectly. Kaka! Just gotta make sure I have like a, f a mouth facing, have a horn, a little eyeball. <sighs> Breathing fire. And then like legs coming down here. And a tail. Psh, trying to draw the tail in the negative space. I'm trying to like fit. Oh, uh, it's such a mess. Let's try to do some symmetry here. So let's just say that's a pattern on the wings or whatever. Because I drew the wings two different ways. But like, that's the asshole Hellkite dragon. The less cinematic Hellkite Drake. Because we call I called him the cinematic dragon last time. Uh... But he's less cinematic this time, because he burns the entire fucking bridge, like, two seconds after you just did something. Very rude, all things considered. Not a big fan of that boyo.
But we also need to like make a little note here. It doesn't fit with our 3D very well, but there's like a little door right here. It says two lower undead berg. Just gonna have to like try to connect that to that. Cause that was what perspective we did go with for having that door. <laughs> Oh my god, how do you look at any of this? This is so many lines overlapping. It's like a painting. It's a work of art. Uh, it's a crime, is what it is. <sighs> it is a crime. The details are largely there, though. I should also draw little heads in here. Anywhere that's not red. So I remember there are enemies on that bridge, but they all get burned up by the dragon when he goes uh, screaming through and burns everything. So technically there are enemies there, but there's enemies under that bridge on the next layer down, but it's also the ladder to the undead berg. But then there's a side path that goes through here. I wrote it as being here. I actually kind of don't remember very clearly where this path takes you. Also the path is on the left and on the right, but I couldn't draw it here. So I just drew it on the right, even though it's not true. But the rats are actually on the left. Then you go under here, and then you come up somewhere around here, I think. Because the main thing is that it brings you up before the boar, so you still have to deal with the boar, but after this door, which is a problem. Because that means you didn't get a bonfire. So it's like, I hope you got the bonfire. That's, I think that's why they did that. They, you get a bonfire if you go down here, but if you, go, if you bravely run past the dragon, then you get a, a bonfire right here. There are two different bonfires there, essentially. It's just the other bonfire requires you to go all the way back to Undead Burg each time and crawl up through here and deal with the poison rats every time. But either way, you get a bonfire. Preferably, you run through, because then you can open the door from the inside. And then this becomes a warp point later, and you can go through here with the bonfire in a straight shot, but also have access to this area later, because Solaire is here the first time, but then later in the story, he's here. Because reasons... Okay. So this place blows. Let's see. We already do we already, so we already drew this guy here. Let's draw over him with pink. try to make sense of this area because if I draw them over with black you won't be able to tell like oh this is an in-room detail I'm, I'm using pink so far as like a transparent layer essentially because so whenever I draw with pink you can kind of filter out the pink in favor of the bolder like black colors and so on and that kind of comes in handy there should be a few enemies around here too but most importantly there are Archers up here on top of this extra layer on top There's also rather importantly A little fire here There vaguely conveys the idea of fire because here Is where you get the bait I'm forgetting what's called wandering souls something like that But basically you deal with, here's this horrible boar and he's unkillable nightmare And you're like what the fuck do I do against this giant armor boar? So you run up the side here and when you run up the side here You deal with all these archers, which is all his own problem, but then there's this special lure item you can use to bait enemies that uh, I've basically never used in any game But is really specifically useful here because you can throw it in the fire that's right there and the boar runs into the fire and dies like instantly Which is ridiculous uh, I'm trying to think about how this area connects to the surrounding environment. It's really difficult I might have to like build it in reverse Oh, right. It's because there's a ladder. There's a staircase here. There's a staircase going in underneath, and in there there's this whole complicated interior 
that I need to figure out how to draw, I suppose. That's its own thing. Damn. Let's see here. There's also kind of a thing around here. And then around here, there's like a... I'm gonna draw it on the ground for the sake of clarity, but there's a lever. Because as you enter this area, this portcullis drops down. It's a little messy, but this, these lines are supposed to be stairs, and that's supposed to be the doorway. Because that's what I've been using as a doorway symbol so far. So Because this, this is the undead parish, like the main church, and this is the staircase going down to the portcullis. And the undead pull the lever to lock you in, making you go the long way around. Which will definitely require like a separate layer to draw. Because that shit's going to get nuts. Hmm. So there's definitely a staircase. Yeah, there's a doorway through here. I'll try to draw this area from back here. I'll have to leave the connector tissue between here and however you get around to here-ish out of the picture and maybe draw it somewhere else because it's un it's that's unlayerable there's no way also that stair mm, i think that last staircase is over there i think that staircase is over there hmm 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 there's like stairs here. This is all an abyss. I know this. these maps have been full of abysses that I haven't specified until now, but the lines around here I think are going to get really hard to understand really quickly if I don't draw an abyss of some sort. Hmm. And here is the Tower Knight. The Big Bad. Whereas, I know here, it's like a couple bad guys, and then like at least one archer around here. And then this. Is a lot. <laughs> it's like there's this layer. That's how I'll try to convey Titanite Demon. He has those weird rings. This is the best I can come up with for that, I think. And technically you kind of like come down a staircase towards him. Yeah. 
There's a lot of doors going on. This is a heavy duty environment. I should have just had a wall here. The staircases probably don't make sense the way I put them. I'm just trying to convey that the, there is a staircase going between the three floors. That each goes to different places. I think I did it wrong. No, there's there's still one more floor. So it'll be Let's call this Let's do a different color to help it out. Call this one one Basement one, basement two, basement three. Because they're out of order now, which is a mess. But in basement two, you have the blacksmith. In basement one, you have a bonfire. And then in basement three, you have the Titanite Demon. <clears throat> Let's use some colors here. So, two dark root basin, two sends fortress. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be the first map where I need this whole second page just to finish mapping all the shit I'm drawing because there's whatever's going on here and there's the whole second floor of here That's just like a lot and third floor technically and so on as best as I can remember them Yeah, that's gonna be nuts Blacksmith Night night demon. Wow. We're gonna be on this floor for like an hour. I thought I could just spend like a day on this and then like just not do videos for a day in order to finish it, but like this is like clearly gonna be a whole this is like a process. <laughs> Turns out maps are in that like a quick draw necessarily, so it like takes a while. Even though it's garbage. I also, this is, the pressure's mounting, because I'm also like, I have no idea how any of this is going to be received, so for all I know, everyone hates the series or whatever, and then I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I'm spending so much time on this thing. It's like, because I'm definitely like, this is, this is incompetent, I'm just scrawling away, so you really just have to hope that, like, this is entertaining on some level, my efforts. Because if they're not, then what was the point of any of it? So there's a weird floating platform, essentially, like a catwalk that connects this area to also this staircase area, but that's those are both exits you can take. There's a path that leads you here in the first place, and that's what I'm trying to convey here. It's almost certainly a staircase right here. But then there's also this knobby bit. Because here is where you see one of those shielded enemies that are nasty. I just drew it as being a door for some reason. And I'm pretty sure there's an item here you want. 
And these connect somehow. I think all in one room, essentially. Yeah, I think this is a staircase that goes this way. It's like, ooh, it's the abyss. Choo, 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 choo. What's in there? And just like, just ignore that. We'll have to call this... Enter, and then the other side we're gonna have to call exit, and we're gonna have to then continue that from the other map. But I don't know how well I can remember that part. That, that part's pretty crazy. But it is like a whole connective tissue. Oh boy. I got the key. Let's waste wide out on this. That's right. I have white out. I have all the power. And I'm gonna undo the thing I just finished drawing. This is this white out can't last. I'm gonna run out during this project, don't aren't I? It's gonna be a mistake. Cause I, I just realized how I can draw this part potentially. I know, I know you turn a corner here. It's like this is all one continuous room around here. And I know there's a dead end over here. Because there's an item here. It's like a guy, I think it's a guy in a barrel. It's like that all connects there. But then how do you get in this room in the first place? You get in here via some hot bullshit. Uh, let's try to know this with a different color just to separate it a little bit. Just imagine this room is bigger than how I'm drawing it. And that goes to a second floor. There are many enemies. I'm not even going to try to draw their faces. This area is full of enemies. It's just stormed with them. Because here's where you get a, you get ambushed by a bunch of un, uh, like relatively weak. Like it's, it's like a cloud of undead when you go in that particular room. And then you climb up this staircase. I keep calling stair ladder staircases because I'm a mess. Into this room. Which then... Boo -doo 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 -doo, just magically connects to there, essentially. You do have like a walkway that overlooks the previous area. You can see into here from there. But I'm definitely messing up like the connective tissue here of how it attaches. 
but that ultimately does like bring you to here. I'm combining the colors here so that you can tell that it's ultimately the same attached location. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't need no second page. I managed to fit the fucking... <laughs> I managed to fit everything. The, the most neglected element, I think, is the, the rat tunnel. This is like a room you fight some rats in that technically isn't even really pictured correctly on here. But yeah, like this side passage goes to this like two floor sequence. There might be another floor too. And there's just kind of like items in like the rafters, I think. I might be mixing this up with the location from Demon Souls that pulls the same shit. There's like rafters up here with like items in them, because they're dicks. And this is where you keep thinking there's a secret door, but there's not a secret door. So you go out the exit and that ultimately leads to here somehow. <laughs> and that's where like this, yeah. I always knew there was going to be blanks here and there, like details that didn't always stand out properly. One of the big, def definitely a good example of a spot that's hard to remember is a place like this, where it's like, it's that, that portion is a linear area where you're not particularly threatened and you're not really navigating or solving anything. So hallways that you just kind of exist in and pass through are much harder to process as locations. Whereas like, Places that you where you used to, where you're hyper aware of the enemies that are going to be coming at you. Suddenly, it's way easier to keep track of what's going on here. Speaking of which, like down here, there's like there's a few different knights and enemies around here. Technically, this goes this way a little bit because when you're coming out of this staircase, you can look right, and there's an enemy that's in the direction to the right, and then there's also potentially somebody in front of you. Because I always bait them out. So that's one of the mistakes I'm potentially making there. I think there's an enemy. I think there's a couple enemies around here too. The area is pretty full of enemies. Obviously, I'm not going to be getting every single one of those completely 100% right. But yeah, I believe there's a guy down here. So technically, I need to like extend. Oh man, finding finding my wideout was a mistake. I'm going to be so tempted to fix mistakes when one of the only chances of me finishing this is for me to move the fuck on from my mistakes. Ta-da! What a disaster. This is... <laughs> what a thing this is. Alright, so... I need to label that technically. From Undead Berg. So here's the pa here's a passage to Undead Burg. Here's another passage to Undead Burg. That's a passage to Sen's Fortress and Darkroot Basin. Oh, that's what I'm not done with yet. This is a connection to Firelink I need to add. And this is an extra floor on top of the so I, I still need a second page for that. I'll have a lot of room for it though, so that'll be fun. Which will be good because I have to draw the, the battle arena. Oh god, yeah, the Undead Parish. The Undead Parish might be the most complicated zo location in the whole goddamn zone. Hmm. Anyway. Try to draw, like... Something about, like, extended chains is my idea of conveying an elevator, I guess. Like, that is... Right here. Label that as two fire link. I should label that more specifically. There we go. Because then I need to label you as 
let's call it parish roof, even though it's not the roof, it's the second floor, but eventually the roof. It'll lead to that. Yeah. Second floor. Let's not let's not be clever. Let's just call things the obvious thing instead of messy, stupid things. Now I'm distracted by all these particles of mess around here, so I'm just gonna draw a frame. There we go. Now the weird leftover shit around the whiteout is less distracting. Ta da 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 da. How long? How much can there be? Is this a new one or an old one? I don't even know. I don't have much faith in the ability of this thing to last, but here it is. It's like a roll on whiteout. My mind was kind of blown when I first saw one of those. I'm like, you can do that? Damn. Set you aside for a second. Um, am I done here? I'm as done. Uh, I'm as done as I'm gonna be, probably. Let's see. Undead perish. Alright. Undead perish second floor. Do do boop a do do. Boo. Okay. That's not an S. That's just not an S. There we go. <laughs> it's just a, it was just a weird streak. And just not an S. Okay. <sighs> I had to plan this somewhat carefully. Let's draw the roof first. I get to be greedy with my space because we're we're spending an entire page on just this, which is just not that much area. I'm not going to be very careful with the clock tower. I'm just going to draw a tower. It's not. It's also not a clock tower. It's a. It's a bell tower. We'll ring the. Ring the bell. There we go. I'm gonna draw the inside interior a little bit. Just so I can denote that, like, hey, there's a, uh, there's a dude in here, Mr. Is his name Cromwell? He's the PvP sins guy. And then there's a ladder inside of here. I'm not really having a c concrete key for my uh, colors. It's just the idea of like having a different color mixed in to make to make these work out. There we go. Although I think at some point purple kind of became my ladder color. It's like there's a ladder going into the abyss. This is the third floor, technically, of the Undead Parish, so this title's great, but this will be the second floor. I was drawing this first because this will be the one where I have to figure out the dimensions on the fly. It's a, mo a more complicated space. Whereas this one's pretty straightforward. And here it's worth noting we have summoning signs for... For Solaire and Lautrec. Can both be summoned for this boss fight. Relatively difficult to do because uh, Lautrec is unlocked in this building. <laughs> so it blew my mind when I realized years later you could do this. But if you free Lautrec in this building and then go back to Firelink Shrine and talk to him and stuff like that and kind of like reset the state of things. 
instead of just going straight to the boss fight. When you come back, Law Trek will also be summonable here. And so you'll have two allies against the, uh, the gargoyles, which basically means you don't have to fight. And I've confirmed this. Uh, you, if you summon Solar and Lautrec, you can stand at the entrance and just watch the boss fight happen. And it, he'll, they'll just beat them for free. So that's fun. Um, I don't know how you draw a gargoyle. Do his little stick arm. And he's going, yeah. <laughs> I've got a trident. For her. I have also got a trident. Weird dicks. Something like that's like this head. His head's also a trident, obviously. Got little digigrade legs with toes. And another arm. Rar. They can draw their wings in pink. Oh my god. <laughs> There we go. Listen, one of their wings came out really well. That's a nice, strong profile right there. And I even had the cleverness to switch colors so that it was not just a mess of lines. Turns out the longer you draw, the more you learn about drawing and you start like learning things you can do to improve your drawing. So pro tip, if you wanna be an artist, which I'm not, uh, do this, but like more, just do it a lot. And then eventually you'll be good at it as shown in how I keep getting slightly better at how I do certain things, suddenly I have like a slight character design going on. I'm like, hey, last time I did lines this way, but what if I did lines that way? Mm. So these are the Belfry Gargoyles. Forgot to have a Y in there. <laughs> Goals. Belfry Gurgles. All right. I'm gonna have to take a break after this, aren't I? I've been doing the Undead Parish for like an hour. Motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know if I fully understood what I was getting myself into here. I, I don't know if I, I don't think I can beat the whole. Beat the whole? I'm talking about beating the game as if me dra mapping the game is me beating it. I mean, it, it kind of is. I'm running through the process of beating the game in my head to some extent. As silly as that is. So that's funny. Alright, so. I had to figure out how I want to draw this. Hmm. So you wish to ring the bell, do you? There's weirdly like another floor in here. So like... If I draw a ladder here... That's what that one is. But there's also a ladder here. There's two ladders in the same room. Oh, the level of details that I can remember. Um, this is an open window. And there's a channeler in here. I'm going to draw him as being this. That's basically what a channeler lo looks like, his weird mask. And then this, and this room just has... So many enemies in it. Just so many enemies in it. Yep, oh, just I'm just marking myself by picking up markers backwards. So like this area. 
is like an abyss, more or less. But specifically this side... That's not 100% accurate. There's like a slightly different approach to that whole area. I'm gonna draw this guy as being the... It's... Dr. Perry Cape. He's a, he's a parrier by... He's a normal parrier by day, but by night he is... Mr. Repost. <laughs> uh, and this goes... This area goes... Eh, why not? To... Undead... Parish. Because that's, that's the staircase that took us up here in the first place. So that goes up here. Nightmare room happens right here. Uh... What a process this is. Okay. And then this, I think this room has another Dr. Perry cape. Ooh, look at his flowy cape. That's what that's supposed to be. It's a cape and, a sh and his little Perry shield and nothing else, including not drawing the actual guy at all. Definitely a. I believe there's some more barrels around here, with like a and like there's like a corpse barrel guy in one of these going on around there. That might be where you save a character. Is he in one of those barrels? I think he is. So then there's a doorway leading into this room, which is like this is the prison room where you find Spiky Boy Lautrec. <sighs> I'm just gonna write sins on that guy. I don't remember his name right now. It might be Cromwell. But that's the bell. So I drew the game from its beginning all the way to the uh, the first bell tower, which certainly took longer than it would have taken to play to that point nowadays with how quickly I'm going nowadays. So, uh, oh boy. <laughs> what kind of task have I undertaken? God, how long were the previous recordings before this one? I've only gone for an hour and a half so far, and then an hour in this video, so now I'm at two and a half hours. Huh. Huh. There are so much games stretching out before me. I think this is a decent intro to this idea. Also, two and a half hours is approximately... Uh, how long I tend to go on a normal day's number of videos. So maybe we're gonna stop here, this experiment, but uh, maybe I'll come up, maybe I'll come back to this in the future as a series and uh, come back, just like come back and do more of the uh, game until I map it all out as a playthrough, essentially. I don't know, we'll see if people particularly find this playthrough. The playthrough, I don't even know what to call it. We'll see if people find this to have been particularly interesting or not. 
I think this guy's like in a window, like hanging out the window. That might be somewhere else in the undead burg. There's some items around here. Uh, this was entertaining. Uh, definitely a very slow process, but it's it's been amusing. So uh, let me go. Let me know if you want to see me do more stuff like this in the future, and maybe I'll set aside a day in a few weeks or months to do like another chunk of Dark Souls for a few hours as a dumb experiment, and maybe we'll get the whole playthrough one day. But I think this is a decent expression of the idea. In fact, it might be a idea. It might be an example of like a too good of an example of what I was talking about when it comes to the idea that like somebody can like map this stuff out based on memory because of how memorable the environment is. Uh, my memory of much of this game is so granular that I have so much detail to draw just at the starting zones, let alone getting around to the rest of the game. Whereas like other games I've played, I would struggle to even like think of. What just trying to like name all the zones and, and say which ones are connected to which would be like hard, <laughs> but not here. All right. Well, thanks for watching like always. And if you want to see future Patreon Q and A's, which are not, this isn't exactly one of anymore, but it's, it came from that. Uh, you can go to my Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash Sebastian SB. It's what supports this channel because largely the, uh, the, um, what do you call it? The ad revenue and whatnot on my channel is not even close to enough to keep everything going so like patreon really made this all go and you can ask future questions and so on that lead to usually just long videos of me playing world of warcraft while talking about the idea and just hanging out but you know i do something special every now and then this has been this particular experiment i now have some really big notepads to hang out with i guess uh thanks for watching like always guys and i'll see you next time